hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today in this video i'm going to show you how to stitch peplum top with the loading finishing loading finishing means you cannot find even a single stitch inside the dress which gives complete high end dress quality and also you feel more comfortable in this dress so without any further ado let's get started Here I'm using very simple basic bodice pattern and the length of this is 15 inches, chest size is 35 inches but you can change according to your size. Uh, here I'm marking a point to narrow the shoulder length and also joining these two points to make Angarika style back on top. Now we got front left side pattern and I will show you how to cut right side pattern as well. Here I am giving 1 cm seam allowances and I am cutting 2 pieces from each pattern. Here I'm using fabric rotary cutter. This tool generally used for quilting projects. Using this, we can handle any kind of fabrics without causing shifting distortion in pattern lines, which can occur with the scissors. Here I am marking the point to match the front shoulder length. So this is our front right side pattern and here you can see I am extending the fabric to make it knot. Here I am cutting two layers of circles to attach the bodice. The length is 7 inches. If your chest size is below 35, then keep the circle length 7 inches. But if it is 35 inches or more than that, please increase the circle length up to 1 or 2 more inches. I'm going to stitch this fabric piece on left side to make a knot at front and it should match with the extended fabric of front right side pattern. Now overlocking all pieces to avoid from fraying. As you can see, I have attached the shoulders separately.
Now keep the fabric facing front together and stitch the neckline. Now turn the fabric and give a top stitch on the back side. Now I'm going to stitch the armhole, just to place it front facings together and stitch it. As you can see here I have attached the piece on left side to make a knot at front. Now I'm stitching sides, just place the facings together and stitch it.
again I'm showing you so that you can get clarity. This is how it looks after switching the sides and as you can see it looks so beautiful even from the back side and there is no seams nothing at all and you feel more comfortable when you are wearing this kind of process. Now stitch the front two parts. Now I'm attaching the circles to the bodies and as you can see the circle front facing should be facing to the bodies while stitching.